Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I've aged a little bit since you've last heard me, and I want to thank all of you for joining me. This is my Let's Play of Might and Magic Heroes 7. We're on episode 71. I remember those years. 71 was a good year, yes. I, I believe, I believe... Uh, wh where am I? What am I doing? Oh, right. Stay a while and listen. All right, enough of that, guys. Enough Deckard Kane intro. It is Might Magic Hero 7. Uh, my voice is a little bit ragged and tagged. -did -did -did. It's it's not great today. So, I'm a little bit more raspy than normal. So, there is that. And hopefully you guys are okay with it. So, we're going to continue on with our Academy campaign. And hopefully we can finish up the first mission in an episode or two. Now, normally there wouldn't be anything on Friday for Might Magic Hero 7. But since I was kind of, I don't know, distracted behind what have you... We get it after all. I know. It's a rare and beautiful thing. No, I say... You know what? I don't care. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. You guys will be happy. I don't want to lose people. It makes me sad. It makes me weep openly. Sometimes closedly. But still, I don't want to lose people. <laughs> I don't think it's... I don't think it's right. It shouldn't be losing. It's fine. All right. Um, People, people, people. Keep building. All right. We got this. Don't even worry about it. Oh, we lost one of our two of our little fire dragon dudes. That's okay. Now, see, to me, those are acceptable losses. I gotta say, for the tier one range units, the fire dragons seem to be kind of the poop. I'm just saying, they're kind of the poop. I've had many, many, many better tier one whatever units, ranged units, than the fire dragons or the Kabir, as it were. All right, let's go and grab ourselves the Crystal Wand, which sounds perfect for a mage-type hierarchy or matriarchy. I don't know. All right, I'm going to swallow a little bit audibly there. And I suppose we can go trivialize our fighting over here with the druids. The druids. The druids, folks. Let's go and murder them. It's going to be a good day, guys. I get to do all-day Death Watch stuff. I'm going to actually have a little bit of time to play some Dota 2. And practice, because that's been absolutely, uh, literally, almost, actually, maybe it has been a month. It's been a long time. Maybe one game in the last month. So that's not great. It's not great for me. Just haven't had the time. Haven't had the time. But, you know, I the weekends have been kind of crappy for real life stuff. I, I say crappy, I mean, like, it's been full of real life stuff, which isn't necessarily crappy, but it doesn't give me a lot of free time to do other things. And this weekend's not going to be much different, unfortunately, apparently, and sadly, I'm going to have to go to a Halloween party. Not that I necessarily mind doing such things, but, again, considering I've had very, very, very little free time as of late, eh, that's where it kind of gets you. That's where it kind of bites you on the backside, if you know what I'm saying. And I think that you do. Alright, I think teleporting is going to be probably the better play. Well, I don't know for sure. Get over there. You're like a reverse um, scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I like it. Yeah, you didn't really do a whole lot of damage there, buddy. Aha! We are free. Aha! We are safe at our... Oh, hmm. oh no! Pam slapped! Are right, you going to hit us too? Ha! Tee <laughs> All right, water elemental of death. Do water elemental things. All right, fire and water, go. So they're all wet and soppy. Now we're going to give them fire damage and steam burns. I think that's how that should work. Now, if you do it the other way, you could light them on fire and then put it out. It wouldn't be quite as good. So you have to do it in that order. Otherwise, no, I'm kidding, guys. That's not a thing. If it was a thing, I think it'd still be pretty legit, but it's not. I know. I'm a little bit sad, too. And not as sad as the uh, druids are. They're up against a giant earth elemental, which you would think would be their buddies, but apparently that's not the case. Alright, die! Ha! Well, you didn't completely die. You mostly died, though, so that's something. Attack! And you hear the little opera in the background? It's pretty good. Yeah, you know, you keep hitting them with your stick. It's not really doing a lot. I'm just saying. Maybe come up with some different strategy. I don't know. I like 
I like the death or the uh, the victory animations for our people a little bit better than some of the others. All right, we leveled up, which is fantastic. Yay for levels! Raw. After the hero casts a prime spell in combat, he gets a second turn for this combat round. Spells cast in the additional turn are cast with plus 20 magic. Well, that seems ridiculously OP, and I love it, and I'm going to get it. So basically, for those of you who don't speak English or don't understand what that means, or maybe it's worded poorly and I understand, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, for those of you who don't understand what that means, maybe I'm wrong, you guys can correct me if I am. But what it seems like is I can cast a spell in combat, so like Frostbolt, pew, and say it does 100 damage. I know it does more, but say it does 100 damage. Let's see, I, I can't I can't extrapolate this very well. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 100 damage, then I'm able to cast another spell or do an attack or whatever the case is again in that combat turn. So before the next round, which if I cast a spell again, I'll get a bonus of 20 magic, which let's say that's 10 damage per. I would cast that Frostbolt at 300. So something along those lines. I don't think the correlation is exactly like that, but it's similar. But again, you get the double cast and the second one's going to be more powerful than the first. So you're going to burn through a lot of mana. It's going to be really, really, really creepy. So we're going to have to really heavily focus on magical skills. All right, speaking of which, Face of Fear and Poison Spray is now ours. Bahada has learned a new spell. Or two. Or three. It's just two. Okay, well, what are we going to do now? We're going to come down here, of course. Duh. We'll do some murder there. It looks like we can grab up some... Random stuff up here. The sandals of swift journey. The journey is much swifter with the sandals. They auto equipped. Yeah, they did. All right, what we're gonna do is snag up that. Uh, maybe come down here first. I don't know. I mean, that's an underground thing. I'm assuming at some point we need to go there. Also, I missed this, and you guys are probably screaming at me because I didn't see that. Well, that's a bit awkward. Eh, yeah, whatever. I wasted a lot of turns this time around anyway. We can always go back and get some more of the weird little Shantiri golems as well. So, eh. I say meh. Make your mad dash to the Shantiri golem. No. Okay. Very slow stuff. Alright. Hold on. Why? How is it faster to go that way than to go this way? I don't... Is there, is there a particular reason that we can't walk over this? Huh. Maybe it's just the the angle that I'm at. I, I'm not sure, guys. It's fine. It's totally fine. Hello, fire elementals. I bet we lose a lot of people here. Yeah, all right. We're going to try this one manually, guys. I'm sorry. I know, again, it's not really that important, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Now, the problem with... These wonderful uh, fire elementals is the fact that they suck and I hate them a lot. That's mostly that's mostly it. Just they suck and I hate them a lot. You know, I could reposition this, and get a little bit of a better outcome, or I could not do that. Hmm. Teleport! Ooh, nice. Attack! Ugh. Hulk smash! Hulk sort of smash. Hulk kind of got wrecked, though. I'm just saying. Frostbolt of Doom! Kill him! Ooh, nice. It worked. High morale says you can do it! We believe in... Alright, you can't do it. I did believe in you, but now I don't believe in you anymore. Alright, now here's the problem. They cast spells... Usually. I don't know if they can cast spells when we're, like, right up on them. Yeah, it looks slow. He did a little ballerina spin. You guys see that? Oh, he was so adorably cute. Not really. But he was there. Oh, this does 19% damage to him. That's kind of funny. That yeah, looks like we're going to get away without losing anyone. So I'm a pretty big fan of that. Hero attack one. Hero, oh, uh, giant rock man attack two, and lightning attack power three. This is gonna be it. Victory, no losses. Our fire lizards of doom. 
survive another day. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting into Death Watch again, guys. I will say it's much, 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 much easier to play games in like a bulk setting. So playing four or five episodes of a game in one sitting or for one day or whatever, a lot easier than playing one here, one there, one here, one there. Now, granted, I have spread myself very, very, very thin. But, again, I, there's just so many amazing games out there, and I think all of them deserve coverage, and I want to showcase everything. I know I can't possibly showcase everything. There's still several that I have passed on, but there are a lot that have come my way, and I'm just like, all right, this is too good not to play. Like, Reverse Crawl. It's kind of a simple, silly little game, but I love it. I think the game's amazing, and it definitely deserves coverage. 100% without a doubt it deserves coverage, and I am so glad I was able to cover it, and I'm still able to cover it. That's going to be the next thing up on the chopping block after we finish Death Watch, by the way, folks. Reverse Crawl will probably end up getting, uh, I wouldn't say rushed through, but it's going to be the one that gets focused next. So, just so you all know what's going on. You know what, I think we're using a lot of mana. Let's, uh, let's wait it out for a bit here. Eh, we can kill off two of you. I like that idea. Whoop. Down you go. Get over there. Be ready. Be vigilant. Be prepared. Water splash. Who are you going to hit? Are you going to hit the rock man? Okay. Bad idea. But you know what? I can appreciate not just sitting there taking it. You, you manned up and you went for it. So, kudos to you. All right, and I believe, yeah, we can finish it with our heroine. Fahada. That's good. So we're going to go with Fahada. And we're going to take that. We're going to go get our crystal of power eventually. And then I guess we'll take that out. And then we'll head over here. Hopefully by the time we make it over to this spot, We'll have everything unlocked. Perhaps we'll kill this, take that, go here, grab some more elementals, and then go over this way. I'm not... Actually, it looks like we'll be able to meet up over here. Hmm. Who knew? It's the week of the squirrel! The squirrel! Week of the squirrel, not a good week to be a hazel nut. Alright. Well, I don't I don't think it's really ever a good week to be a hazel nut. I mean, you get dipped in boil, a near-boiling liquid, i.e. coffee. You get chewed on by all manner of people, put in cookies, baked. I mean, it's it's not an easy life being a hazelnut, I'm just saying. There are much easier things to do. I will accidentally click the wrong thing. I will take all of you. Please join my forces. I love you. Please, please. All right, end the turn. Move onward. Grab the cape of protection. I think we already have a cape, though. So, you know, I feel a little silly. Alright, woman. Come over here and quick combat these. They shan't be able to damage us. We have once again leveled ourselves up. And I believe we want to go down the Paragon Tree once again. It does seem to be pretty darn amazing. Magic damage dealt to enemy creatures is increased by one percentage point times meta magic. Interesting. We shall learn Paragon. And it should be okay. Alright, let's see here. Do you guys hear a weird dripping sound? That's actually my dog having a nightmare. Hold on one sec, guys. Hopefully the whistle didn't come through. I don't believe that it did. I'm hoping I woke her up. She's having a, a bad dream. She can, She's continuing to drip, guys. I'm going to have to step away. I'll be right back. I'll edit this out. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But it's weird. When my dog has a nightmare or she's dreaming, you hear like a... That's the sound she actually makes when she's dreaming. It's really weird. It's really strange. Never had a dog do that before, but hey, you know what? Kudos to her for being unique, right? Anyhow, let's continue onward. I do apologize for the slight disruption or delay. Eh, it's not really going to be that big of a deal, guys. That's what editing and stuff is all about. That's what it's all for. Now, I do remember originally when I started doing this. Granted, I was terrible back then, and I'm sure I'm only slightly less horrible now or terrible now but um yeah it didn't do any video editing so everything was a hundred percent half hour whatever got distracted got distracted and that meant that I had to start over it wasn't great then I eventually I found some video editing software and that made my life a little bit easier I wouldn't say the easiest in the world because I still do silly silly ridiculously stupid things 
There are distractions in games where there's no pause or whatever the case is. So, like I said, it's easier, but it's not the end-all, be-all, easiest, greatest thing ever to walk the face of the planet. So, there is that. Alright, I guess we're going to grab up some cash. I'm curious as to whether I'm going to find the solution to our problem over here, or if it's going to be in the underground. I'm going to guess it's going to be the underground. Following the rumors, Kalida flew like a sandstorm to the caverns of Amal in her quest for the mysterious flower of the desert. Kalida knew these caverns hosted the tomb of Hakim, a wizard with a known passion for riddles and mind games. If the flower was indeed here, it would be well hidden. Indeed. All right, we'll snag up that. We'll go and get some more cash monies. Meanwhile, we'll go over here and fortify our position once again. We'll say we can recruit two of you. Somehow I got fire elementals, though I'm pretty certain that I was actually on the water elementals. But that's okay, I guess. Hmm. Okay, um... Is there anything else I need to be aware of? Pretty sure I did everything I possibly could on this side of life. So, I guess we come over here and we grab the campfire. Or we prepare to grab the campfire. Yeah, let's see what's over here. Retrieve the flower. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's a blockade there. I didn't even notice that before. Okay, so that's impo impossible. That's impassable, so we need to actually... We do need to go underground, so I was not wrong with my thinking. My thought process was not completely, totally, and utterly flawed. Only mostly flawed, I guess. You will fight me, you trivial bunch of trivialness things and stuff. Quick combat! There's no way they can hurt us, right? Yeah. There was literally no way they could hurt us. Oh, boy. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a problem. Wait, did you... You're going to join me? Please, do so. I accept your proposition. Please join me. Ooh, summon elemental fireball and cyclone? Yeah. I will take all of those things. Oh, this looks like a mess. Hmm. All right, my dear. It looks like you're going to come over here and chill. We go back to her. We're gonna end the turn. We're gonna snag up some new spells. We're gonna go over here, grab some of this. Now, do we cross this way and go here? I think we do. This looks like a dead end, so I'd rather get the dead end out of the way first. I want to attack you, silly, silly, evil liches. I'm gonna take you down like a sweet muffin. Alright, maybe not like a sweet muffin, but I'm going to take you down nonetheless. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose I'm okay with this. Don't they just look bonular? I think that they do. Alright, we have Summon Elemental, which is exceptionally expensive. Maybe we won't use that. However, we can annihilate them. Sorry. I got distracted by shiny things. Not, not really, not really. I jest, I jest. Alright, let's fire a giant fireball of fire onto them. Eww, pillar of death. And Hadouken. Alright, a little bit of damage Alar. It does not look like you're gonna be able to close with anyone. I believe the liches are going to be mildly inconvenient for us. I wonder how much damage they're gonna be able to do. Probably way more than we want them to. Who are you going to attack? Oh, good. I like that. Yay. Ooh, high morale again. Nice. And blop. Eh. All right, well, we can take you out that way. We can take you out this way. Not quite. Let's do a little bit of work on you here and then finish you with our wonderful air elemental of doom. Sorry, we have Fire Lizards of Doom. Error Elemental of Death. I could, I could roll with that. Alright. You have leveled up, my dear. We are going to go down Light Magic because we can. Okay, what is this? Leadership for every light spell cast. Eh. Light Knowledge. We want to know about the light. 
And the only way we can do that is through light knowledge. And I can't tell you guys how excited I am to have retribution on my side for once. I think that's going to be fantastic. We also should be able to get some more troops over here. Just on the off chance that we need them. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, quick combat. Shouldn't be a thing. It's not. Yay for more magical stuff. And then we come over there. And then we go over here. And then we go... I want two of you, but I can only afford... Actually, we can afford both. I think. Yeah, we can. Alright, yay! And unfortunately, you are too expensive, sir. We cannot afford another one of you. Alright, I think that gets us enough oomph that we're going to be okay. The growth of troglodytes and chthonians is doubled. What the heck is a, ch a chthonian? A chthonian? Chthonian? Is that like a Cthulian? I don't know. It's the week of troglodytes. That's a horrible upgraded name for a troglodyte. Where did they come up with that? I've never heard that spoken ever. Or read it anywhere for that matter. But whatever, it's probably accurate in some way. Alright, once again, we were able to quick combat our way through the majority of this stuff, which is pretty nice. End our turn, grab up some dragon steel, some gold, and kill off another! Die! Ooh, there's the uh, Shrine of Malasa. I don't care, I know we lost one, it's fine. It doubles our mana regen. What? Huh. We have to pull a lever, or two, or maybe four. Oh dear, alright. Find a way to open the vault. Well, this looks unpromising. Oh, we can read, okay. We can read! I am known both young and old. Some cower for me, others I make bold. But I'm not one you mock or taunt, for your every step I haunt. This is the last riddle, but even if you find the answer, be sure to remember Hakim as a servant of order. What? Let's see here. Here lies Hakim of Azhar, student of Sar Isis. Hakim loved riddles. Here is one to accompany him on his journey back to Asha. Ah, uh, okay. Flower of the Desert! Huh. Well, let's pull this. Hey! Battle time! We actually have to fight this? Oh, I'm so, I'm so depressed. Oh, wait, there's a full army there. Oh, never mind, I'm no longer as depressed. Okay, that's our full army. So, totally wrong, there's not a full army. This is kind of a waste of time. Yep. We're just gonna kind of chill and do damage at a distance because we can do that and it's okay. And we can defend ourselves and shoot fireballs from our fire lizards of doom. And then use our magic carpet rider to do that. Then you can't quite reach because you're a lion and you have stubby legs for some reason. I don't know. But our wonderful air elemental of doom can do this. Sorry, air elemental of death. Doom just sounds cool. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's not my fault that it sounds better. Okay, so that happened. Not enough movement left. Okay, so that's the first. Is this the second? Nope. So is it literally one, two, three, four? Is that how this is going to go? Because I feel like... This is a little bit silly. Alright, well, oh, look, there's more of them. I wonder if every time we make a mistake, it's going to get worse. Because this could get out of hand pretty quickly. I am not going to lie to all of you. Seven to nine, yeah. We will just spam wait until we're ready. I guess we're ready. Alright, magic carpet ride, go! Fire breath of death. Go, my fire lizard of doom. Go. 
Dun, 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 dun. Go, Lion Man. Go. All right. Well, mm, eh. all right. We'll kill you. And oh, I suppose we can come over here. And if we absolutely had to, we could kill off you. Or pretend like we we're going to kill off you and then not actually do that because of reasons. Alright, the attack is there. The attack is real. You, sir, are dead. You are also dead. Pew! Oh man, that thing is really, really menacing. Kalida victory! Yay, we got level ups for it too, which is nice. Alright, we're gonna go down the light magic tree. Alright. So that happened. Are we out of movement again? Looks like we're out of movement again. Okay, well this is pretty simple then, as I guessed. Yep, four corners. A big square. There it is. Well, I'll take it. I will take it. So this is the beginning. This is the end. The only questionable ones were these two. And, of course, I decided, oh, it couldn't be this easy, right? No, it was. It was this easy. All right. Well, it's fine. Uh-oh. Giant turd fell over there. Petrified, of course. Oh. Surprise. There's a hidden army inside the wall. Who'd have thought? All right, what are we opposed? Oh. Malachua right. Easy trap. Divided forces Malachua has. Soon Shahibir will fall. And now the gem is ours too. Your mouth moves, but all I hear is noise. Malachua smart. Has wizards chasing shadows. Malachua has power now to smash wizards, drive them into desert, food for carrion. Idle boasts of a cornered rat. No boast. Dragon's Tear will make us strong, and Jengo will have revenge. You will not find victory here. Only death! Good, so we finally get to get rid of Jengo from, well, the Orc campaign. Yeah, I don't really see him finding victory here at all. I, I think uh, she may be accurate in her statement. We kill off ten of you? No. Well, we have a lot of magic to use. Why don't we use some of it, shall we? Surprise! Earth Elemental Power Attack of Doom! And stuff. Yep, you hit him. Do it now. Bam. Sorry. Bap. Defend! What are you going to do, Orc? you going to put all your people out of tension? Really? I hardly think. Okay, she does way more damage than I would have uh, ever guessed in my entire existence. Or he, he, Django does. Holy crap, he's got 26 attack. Okay, we got to make sure this doesn't get out of control. Yeah, I'm like, I hardly think that's going to do anything. And then what does it do? It like nearly kills my guy immediately. That was pretty funny. Also horrible. I think we hit our own guy with that. Probably not the best play. Pretty sure he dies. Oh good, she gets to go again, because we need that. Ouch. Water shield didn't really hold a candle to the enemy here. Okay, well... I think moving forward is going to be pretty messy for us. All things said and done here. Attack the little golem knoll dudes! The Nolums? Yeah, the Nolums. Attack the Nolums! He has a special ability that I've never actually looked at or noticed because things have been going so swimmingly well for us. Alright, I still have more elemental summons I can do, and I believe that I will do so. Hey, fire elemental summons. Very nice. Attack! Attack from both sides! Oh gosh, she got smacked out of the way. It's a tad awkward. Alright, what can we do here? 
Well, we can kill you off, we can kill you off, or we can kill you off. I guess we'll attack you. Bah! Alright, defend. Now the Harpies are gonna wreck somebody. Who are they gonna wreck? It's gonna go after our air elementals. Not a big fan. We're really gonna have to lay into that one. Alright. More attack, more power, more doing. The Home Depot or something. I don't. It's, it's fine. Attack! Nice, nice. We're getting some little baby damage done there. Pretty sure he dies. Bloop! Down you go, sir. Down you go. Alright, yeah! Lion power! Lion beats horse! It's true, lion does beat horse. For those of you scoring at home, that is not an inaccurate statement in any way, shape, or form. I imagine a horse could technically trample a lion to death, but it's highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. Alright, what does this thing do? Shoots at all units on a line. So we could shoot our own people if we wanted to, but we don't want to. We're just going to shoot him anyway. And it looked cool, so totally worth doing. Okay, additionally, our fireball does 372 as opposed to 430. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with this. Yep, a vast majority of you have just died. What are you going to do, Django Fett, if that is your real name? This is where you fall. No, you killed our sister. You hit me. You die in fire. <laughs> All right, so victory is there. We gained no treasure from Django, but we did defeat him nonetheless. The orc has escaped, but Aww. at least the flower is safe. I must bring back the gem to Vahada. And warn her of the danger to Shahabdir. Shai Shahabdir, where's the R? There's no R. It's, I'm sure that's how you say it, but still a little weird. Ooh, look at all the shinies. Yeah, five thousand gold, five thousand experience. Ugh. That's sweet, sweet, nice style. All right, we have no movement. We can grab this up, maybe. I, you know, I'm actually, I'm. T you know what? I think I'm gonna go with uh, experience here. I feel like we're a little under-experienced at this point, so let's be bold with our decision here. Alright, what do we have here? We have magic from light spells, and what is this? Celestial arm armor, and cleansing light is now in an area. Sure, we'll go with that for now. Don't worry, don't you fret, we will come back for this. Oh gosh, AoE retribution, can you imagine? Alright, um, ah, there it is. There's a spider that's just sitting there, like a random spider army. That's pretty interesting. Alright, well, I guess we'll come back here and grab up some more troops, because we can. And because we can. Eh, it's fine. What? Can we do anything to this, or is this just, like, part of the scenery? I think it's just part of the scenery. Well, so be it, it, I suppose. So be it. it. Alright, we're about to break off the episode, guys. I know, you're eager, you're excited, you want to see the reunitation of, of the two. But we're not quite there yet. Almost. But not quite. Okay, we have visited that. The armor offer the army offers to join me for a price. I'm going to say die in a horrible painful fire. Good. We lost no one. Excellent. It's my favorite kind of losses. The non existent kind Ooh. I sort of feel bad that I didn't actually save the money to get that. Hmm. Well, it looks like things will be getting a little bit more challenging in the future episodes. However, this is here, so there is a Shantiri Titan that we can still grab eventually. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you had fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys again on Saturday, God willing, and my wife doesn't kill me, um, for more Might and Magic Hero 7. But stay tuned later today, guys. There's going to be many, 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 I don't know how many, but there's going to be a lot more Death Watch. Warhammer 40k Death Watch is going to be the focus of Focus Fridays. Anyway, guys, until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.